Finally, in our Inspiring Kids series, it's a popular sport that requires a broom, a stone, and some ice. We're talking about the sport of curling, and two brothers are hoping to inspire other kids to follow in their footsteps. Let's get details now from our friend Gabriella Rudy. Meet Carter and Tucker Hellman, 11-year-old twins breaking the ice about a sport sliding into popularity, curling. After watching Team USA win gold in 2018, the twins were swept up. I was like, this is really cool. I really want to try this. When the boys first came to you with an interest in curling, what were your thoughts? Never in a million years did I think, oh yeah, my kids are going to be curling, you know? It was harder than it looks, but the strategy and the sweeping and everything was really fun. As the twins told me, curling is not as easy as it seems. It takes a mix of precision, accuracy, athleticism, and of course, sleeping. Here's how it works. Two teams take turns sliding heavy stones toward a target area called the house. Sweeping in front of the stone helps it move faster. The objective is to have your team's stones closest to the center of the house to score points. Okay, sweep. Back in 2011, even Lester caught the curling bug himself. Let her go. Good job. See nothing to it. It's going pretty far. And found out some hard truths about this simple game. <laughs> it's all about muscle memory. I'll learn how it feels so that you can uh, continue it next time and be consistent with your shots. The twins started curling when they were seven. And after years of hard work, they were ready to rock the biggest rink, the under 18 Nationals. Like this was the big deal. I was nervous, of course. I mean, I feel like a lot of people are in the first day and the first Nationals events. Uh, we were also very excited and fortunate. The kids there were like 17, 18, 16, and we were only like 10, 10 when we were there. Yeah. So they were huge compared to us. They didn't know it at the time, but they were the youngest competitors in the entire tournament. How did it feel to be the youngest ones at that competition? When uh, someone finally told us, we were like, wow, that's, that's a big milestone to go to nationals, especially to be uh, the youngest. It's very impressive, yeah. They didn't win, but the tournament inspired Carter and Tucker to start a YouTube channel to help them with their game. Hi, it's Carter Hellman, and hi, it's Tucker Hellman, and welcome to Calling Chronicles, Hang It Forward. One of their coaches weighed in early on. This is Gabriel Coleman, and she wrote a book called Introduction to Calling Strategy. It's really amazing what they've been able to do in such a short period of time. Uh, and they also just love to curl. These brothers have a secret weapon. We have this telepathy thing. And also, we kind of, as twins, we bring each other up when the team gets down. And uh, like my own personal therapist. <laughs> They plan to be sweeping the competition for years to come. A big goal of ours is to go to the Olympics. And to show, like, make curling a more known sport. And I want them to see, like, um, you can do it. And it doesn't matter what age you are. You can be 70 or 10. Curling prodigies, turning heads and rocks, and showing all generations that it's never too early or too late to learn something new. Gabriella, thanks very much. It's a really fun sport.